Hello everyone, today I will talk about the difference between acidizing of sandstone and carbonate reservoirs. In simple terms, the difference between sandstone and carbonate acidizing is the same as the difference between removing and bypassing formation damage. Here we can see a vertical well that has some formation damage in the near wellbore area. Let's assume that it is caused by invasion of the drilling mud filtrate into the reservoir. Normally, this invaded or damaged zone would have much lower permeability in comparison to the undamaged zone. Let's zoom in on the damaged zone. This figure represents the front view of the well with the cylinder of formation damage around the wellbore. There is also a cross-sectional view here at the bottom. Next, I will use this view to illustrate the difference between sandstone and carbonate acidizing. First, let's discuss sandstone acidizing case. In sandstone reservoirs, the goal of acidizing is to remove or dissolve the formation damage. By injecting acid in the reservoir, we dissolve the damaging material particles and push the solution deeper in the reservoir. Notice how the damage is almost fully dissolved in the near wellbore region. Only some spots remain untreated, but these spots will not restrict the flow of the hydrocarbons and therefore this stimulation treatment will be considered successful. Also, it is important to emphasize that some of the damaging material will precipitate out of the acid solution once this acid is spent and is being pushed deeper into the formation. Further, we displace this damaging precipitation. Less effect it will have on the production. If acidizing treatment is designed properly, then this deeper damage will not have any significant effect on production and will observe a dramatic flow rate increase. So to summarize, in acidizing stimulation of sandstone reservoirs, our objective is to dissolve or remove the damaging material from the near wellbore region. Next, let's discuss the same damage but in a carbonate reservoir. In this case, our goal is to create a conductive pathway for the flow of hydrocarbons. Here, we are not trying to dissolve all the damaging material like we did with sandstone reservoir. Instead, we are bypassing this damaged region by creating so-called wormholes. We design the treatment in such a way that this wormhole will be long enough to go beyond the damaged region, while not being too wide and not going to create too many branches. The logic here is to create this conductive channel with use of an optimal amount of acid. Another powerful way of carbonate stimulation is acid fracturing. In this case, fracture wings will act as even deeper conductive channels while acid is going to dissolve some amount of rock on the walls of the fracture. So, to summarize, the primary difference between sandstone and carbonate acidizing is that in sandstone reservoirs, our objective is to remove the damaging material while in carbonates we bypass the damaged region. Thank you for watching. Please share with your colleagues and let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a great day.